Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post-fight analysis video for my Dana White's Contender Series. This was on Tuesday night. You know, I actually did a little, I actually did a little round by round analysis with uh with you guys uh, you know, during this fight, you know, but uh, I didn't get a chance to do the uh the Paula fight, but I'm gonna go back and do a post-fight analysis for that one too. But uh yeah, if y'all didn't catch it, I was doing a quick round by round analysis for this one on on my live stream since you know i went over in my live stream i just tried to go ahead and catch it but um yeah man this fight here good exciting fight you know victoria leonardo uh, versus chelsea hackett uh leonardo she came in started fast uh she finished fast like she wanted to to make a big statement against hackett uh she used her strength wrestling and ground skills in this fight uh she was in danger in the second round but I feel like Chelsea Hackett just she, she just didn't have the tools to really uh, capitalize on a fighter like Victoria Leonardo and Leonardo she uh, recovered quick, you know, fought smart towards the end and got a second round finish via uh, ground and pound in this in, in um in this uh, Dana White uh, contender fight. Uh, the first round right away, uh, Victoria she made her presence known. You know she was putting the pressure on Chelsea, pushing her and getting the clinch and showcasing the strength and you know the size difference i mean you could definitely see the size difference i mean victoria leonardo looks like eventually she's gonna have to move up to 135 you know honestly but uh chelsea you know she had the muay thai stance so she was kind of controlling the center of the octagon at times but i feel like when you're in that muay thai stance it leaves you a little bit prone to uh getting taken down you know which which ha which happened uh later on in the round but um right away chelsea was establishing some nice leg kicks to the lead leg of victoria and i think that her stance like i said was leaving her prone to take down so victoria she would close in fast after eating a couple of shots like she had a big one too closed in tripped chelsea get the, got the takedown and just put the weight on chelsea in the half guard you know flattening chelsea out and getting in some nice nice left hands just mauling chelsea mauling chelsea with the right you know just holding her down and then just cracking her with uh shots to the side of the head and just leaving chelsea really helpless on her back Till finally she, she was able to squirm her way back up to the center of the octagon and again um she ate some good right hands from um from uh victoria leonardo this time because you know because of her position she's not quick to slip you know she needed to bounce around on her feet more so and I, I talked about this on the live stream as i was watching it i was like yo she needs to really get in like a more bounce in and out style kind of like joanna instead of you know staying poised like a muay thai fighter because she was eating shots you know but chelsea she landed a nice uh hard leg kick you know as uh, as victoria came in she landed another nice hard leg kick that kind of hurt victoria like she got a little reaction from it but chelsea didn't follow up like if if uh, chelsea was really trying to land in volume i think she would have been able to chop uh victoria leonardo down because Le leonardo she's strong and she was able to land some good shots but she's wide open you know that's where the defense is i think that it really would have helped if chelsea would have been a little bit quicker on her feet and just establish a good leg kick because i think if she would have kept chopping that lead leg down she probably would have got uh better results you know but the first round i had to give it all to victoria i feel like she did a better mix of strikes you know got the takedown and had better clinch work all together you know but again those leg kicks it was there like she had something that could have worked chelsea hackett but she just didn't know how to really capitalize on it uh round two victoria she's doing a good job of putting the pressure and trying to come in behind come in behind the jab you know circling striking her way in not really go shooting straight in but she was circling you know she was circling her way in striking her way in to get the clinch again controlling with the strength but on the way on the way out chelsea she landed a nice elbow that busted victoria's nose and this is why i'm talking about her defense like she's a solid go get him fighter but she just really needs to work on her defense as well because she pulled straight out of that clinch and chelsea hit her with a big elbow then landed a nice right hand that hurt victoria and victoria's bleeding from the nose and when she gets eats that right hand you know she's kind of stumbling and then chelsea lands a good flurry but instead of chelsea like setting up the ko or like trying to land an uppercut or land a couple good kicks or maybe a head kick she lets victoria clinch and that's where i say okay victoria knows what she's doing she got hurt so she went in for the clinch you know that's a veteran move you you got to go in for the clinch don't go on your back foot and run if you get hurt just move in go into the chest and kind of smother the other fighter so you can find time to recover so by putting her head in the chest of chelsea and just putting her weight on it she had a lot of time to recover so victoria uses this time to work on the inside as well so while she's working she's just riding chelsea down kind of like riding her on the back and you know just trying to pull her down getting her to wear wear her out and then finally she gets her to the ground so when she's on the ground once again chelsea's helpless so from that side control victoria goes into full mount and just unloads ground and pound with Chelsea trying to Chelsea trying to roll away, but she's getting cracked with shots. You know, Victoria's landing some nice hammer fists, 
more ground and pound until there was a point where it was just like the ref was watching but every time she would have like four or five punches in sequence she would stop it but then like her hands just started flailing so you know the referee when she ate like five or six more he just finally stopped it which was a good stoppage you know victoria was just putting on a solid performance as far as you know going in for the kill and recovering but um overall yeah it was a good fight uh victoria leonardo she got a contract i feel like she deserved a contract you know but out of the women's fights i still think that um but i still feel like uh depaula she showcased like a better uh better style of fighting and a better approach you know she was much more disciplined but uh victoria leonardo she definitely she definitely fought a little bit more educated than what i seen in some of her some of her invicta fights definitely earned, earned a contract because she fought hard and again like i said she was very disciplined and she did well under pressure when she got hurt she went in for the clinch to catch her breath and she was still doing damage and she was able to finish strong so she was the fighter that got hurt in the second round but she held on and i think you know that's what dana white looks for you know even if a fighter might look like they have holes in their game or some people might say oh she was still getting hit well she's still dangerous you know she still has the skill to come back and pull off an upset or come back and just beat you you know what i mean and i think that's what dana white's looking for in the series and you know that's why i want I, that's what i want to see you know i want to see a fighter that can you know if they get hurt they can come back and win and you know, that's what victoria leonardo did so yeah she definitely won the um she definitely uh won the uh, contender series contract in my opinion you know to move into the flyweight division because right now i do feel like the flyweight division is it's needing more names and she's just going to be another one of those names to kind of like transition in and bring in new blood you know along with you know the miranda mavericks the uh sabina mazos the julian robertson's and so on so when you put her in there you're going to get exciting fights and that's what we need but yeah man that's all i got on this guys like i said this was a good fight go back and check it out on the um, espn app espn plus app if you got it combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace